Hey Gemini, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your monthly reading for the month of February. This reading's for anyone with Gemini placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Gemini reading for whatever reason you've been guided here. This reading is for the month of February. It's for anyone, like I said, who's guided. It could resonate right now or later on down the line. All right, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Gemini for February. Whoa, it just fell on the floor. Hold on, guys. The mountain fell on the floor. All right, adjudication in the mountain. So this feels like a heavy decision you have to make or... Um, a heavy decision that somebody is making or about, you know, that has to do with you in some way, if it's not you making the decision. Tell me more about this for Gemini. We are working with the Gilded Revelry Lenormand and Kipper deck blended together, big hybrid deck that I like to blend together. We're also going to be using the, we're just pulling a few of these. Then we're going to be using the Gilded Royale and the Everyday Witch to clarify. Okay. All right. What else do we need to know? Gemini reading. February 2023. What's important for the whole month? Okay, the park. Okay, and the snake, which is the seven of swords. And it's weird because I don't read these in reverse, but it's the only one that did come out in reverse, meaning we're seeing the snake. Um, I don't read these in reverse, not these particular cards. Um, they are what they are and they mean what they mean. But it's just funny how they did come out in reverse so there's a choice to be made about something or someone i feel like it, like the park says we see it it's public whatever the snake was doing um and you have a choice to make and it's not an easy choice because right away i got difficult choice when i saw these two i felt this was a difficult choice so I feel like somebody, um, you found out something that somebody was doing or something about another person and now you've got to make a choice and it could not be somebody you're dating or have some kind of a partnership with any kind of partnership really it comes out. Um, it really comes out as the courtship card, but it really could be somebody you're either dating or friends with or have some kind of an agreement with in some way. All right, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Gemini, what do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? And what are the messages? Gemini reading for anyone with Gemini placements. What do we need to know? What are the messages? One more shuffle, February 2023. This reading could be for anyone who's guided to see it, whenever they're guided to see it. One more shuffle. All right, Gemini reading. What do we need to know here? What are the messages? Gemini reading. decision again decision 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 it's everywhere so you have a decision to make for sure two of swords reversed that's way too many can we just do one or two at a time decision 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 three of pentacles it looks more in the reverse to me it almost came out as a challenge on its side but it looks more in the reverse to me so this would be not to put any more effort into something and look again blindfolded and bound same kind of kind of energy here like I'm, I'm really stuck mountain between a rock and a hard place here what else do we need to know so this really has to do with will you put uh, yeah i kid you not Directly under Seven of Swords is Seven of Swords again. Look at it. Right underneath of it. Same exact two cards. Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords. Just two totally different kind of decks. Wow. Unbelievable. All right. So there's something going on here um, that you have to make a decision about. And it has something to do with someone. I'm telling you. This keeps trying to come out, this Strength Reverse and the Seven of Cups Reverse. So this is seeing something clearly or having the strength to uh, do something, make some kind of a decision, or this has something to do with an actual Leo who's up to something. Um, let me get another look at it. Can I get another? That's way too many. Can we just get one or two? We just need one or two. It's Gemini reading. One or two more cards, please. All 
I feel like this is you needing to pull on your inner strength to make this decision because decision, decision, decision. I mean, it's everywhere. As soon as we started out this reading, we could see you were having a difficult decision to make. All right. So let's take a little look at this. You've got, you know, the strength, you know, the seven of cups reversed, the strength card reversed, which we already knew about. And then you've got these two, the three of cups at the end, and you've got the eight of cups in the reverse. All right, so I feel as though you can either stay in whatever this is or you can leave it behind. I feel like you could be in a third party situation. It's really possible. Um, you know, because look at the disappointment around the relationship with the five, or, I'm sorry, four of wands reversed and the star reversed. And we've got the knight of wands here. There could be a player involved. I don't normally, I don't always see the knight of wands like this, but sometimes I really do see the knight of wands like this. I feel like you've got an opportunity to, I really feel like you could leave this relationship behind you, whatever this is. It's it's definitely, it's four of wands, it's star reverse, it's courtship. I feel like you could leave this behind or you can just stay in it and contend with the fact that you're in a third party. For some of you, you there might be perks to you staying with this relationship. You might be the privileged lady. Maybe there's a reason why, you know, uh, whether or not, you know, your person cheats, you want to stay because you, there are a lot of privileges in the, in the life you have. So walking away, you know, would be make your life difficult. So it's a difficult decision to make because either you've got to put up with a third party or you can walk away. That's what it really feels like to me. Um, now, if this is not you, Gemini, this could be someone around you. And the third party doesn't always mean cheating. This could be someone who's stuck in some other kind of third party situation. This could be a legal situation. Let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? Gemini reading. What do we need? Oh, hold on one second, Gemini. I apologize. Hold on. Okay, I apologize about that. I'm sure you guys didn't even miss me, but I was gone for a quick moment to get a drink because I had a tickle and I forgot to get um, a drink. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know here for this reading for Gemini or anyone else who's guided to see the Gemini reading for whatever reason they've been guided here? What are the messages? What do we need to know about this reading? What do we think about it? What do we know about it? What do we need to know? This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. My readings tend to be predictive. If you don't know what this is, it's all the more reason to pay attention because they're predictions. All right, so you don't know if this is coming. It's a heads up. All right, one more shuffle, Gemini reading. One more shuffle, Gemini reading. All right, let me get, um, tell me about Judication and the Mountain. What do we need to know, Judication and the Mountain? Something uh, that you've been waiting for with the Seven of Pentacles or something that's been, um, that you invested a lot into. Tell me about um, the Snake in the Park, the Snake in the Park. I don't normally do you always, I don't always uh clarify the ones at the top but I'm very interested because you got some rough ones up there tell me about the snake in the park the snake is like I said the same exact as the seven of swords and the seven of swords tell me about all of them the snake the park the seven of swords what's going on here it's like something getting seen yeah information coming out this is the night of swords this could actually be your very own energy if this is not you this is libra for me and you got libra here as well judication could also be libra um we also have um now it doesn't have to be i'm just saying what i see okay i also see leo here um the hermit down here is virgo as well this is like something uh, that you've been thinking about or contemplating on or going within to get information on or you might have actually sought information on something but it's like this is definitely something coming out, which is what I felt with the park being next to the snake. And the way that snake came out in reverse, even though I don't read those in reversal, made me feel like something getting exposed. And now here it is, information coming out about something that was seven of swords, somebody doing something. All right, now there could be a, a Virgo that gives you this information, or it could be you that gathered the information. There's something about 
information or a decision that you've been waiting for. All right, so let's look at the Two of Swords. Well, now this also could be you making a decision about something you found out about. Tell me about Two of Swords reversed. magician reverse I absolutely somebody was doing something here and you are finding out about it or you did find out about it or you have a decision to make about it um I want to know about the three of pentacles reverse this could uh, like I said this could be a work situation this could be a partnership at work your center of your reading is the three of pentacles which means this is like the central issue around and look at how this clump of cards just fell out almost into my lap and look at them eight of pentacles reverse again a partnership and the eight of cups again reverse somebody is stuck in some kind of a work situation eight of pentacles three of pentacles where somebody was doing something shady no doubt about it look at the bottom the hierophant this is a contract or some kind of an agreement or some kind of a partnership where somebody was doing something shady and somebody can't i don't and it could have been three people involved in it like a third party like third party contract i don't know really what that means but it also could have been like three people that were involved in this thing and somebody involved here was doing sneaky shady stuff could even be two people we got the seven of swords twice but whatever it is there's like information coming out something's getting uh, or if it's not you it's someone else that's going to speak a truth tell me about the seven of cups reversed here with i want to look at this emperor keeps trying to come out as well um so this could be a boss this could be an owner this could be somebody i mean i don't know why but every now and then the emperor tries to come out with a bunch of other cards of course i won't take cards that are more than three um I really prefer one or two at a time. Seven of Cups reverse and Strength reverse. I'm going to look at them both together. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse and the Strength reverse. What do we need to know? This is something about a decision. Uh, I'm going to just look at the Seven of Cups first. Tell me about Seven of Cups reversed. Yeah, the moon absolutely so it's hard to make this decision because someone's manipulating the information all right so whatever's going on there's manipulation going on so that someone can't properly make decisions because they don't see it they don't see all the answers they don't have all the information it's making it a difficult decision to make see how like the cat looks like a panther right there's an illusion going on there's confusion being caused because someone is magician seven of swords and causing this delusion confusion illusions i should say right so um this is purposely being caused um i don't and i feel like it's a leo there it is again right there so this could be a leo causing this on purpose now if you have a lot of leo in your chart this actually could be you but i feel like this is a leo that you've dealt with in some kind of business situation or work situation and they're causing purposeful confusion or they're causing um so maybe the decision can't be made because the mountain was put in place by someone manipulating it and they put like a block in place there's something going on about someone purposefully causing some kind of confusion here in a situation that is something to do with work or partnership tell me about the um eight of cups reversed what about now if this is more personal then it's more personal but it re, you know if it's personal it definitely involves a third party situation and somebody who's been lying about a third party i can tell you that right now that's if it's personal um, for most of you this feels more business related even if it's not you it's someone around you dealing with this kind of business situation tell me about the eight of cups reversed what do we need to know about it this is definitely someone stuck in something and i saw it in both decks eight of cups reversed what do we need to know about this yep absolutely completely stuck can't budge again thank you spirit that's just spirit reiterating the fact somebody is stuck in this like this is a business thing they can't get out of all right tell me about the three of cups 
Now, this could be a business you're dealing with. If you're going, well, I don't even work, then it could be a business you're dealing with, right? Um, or this could be someone in your life going through this. Tell me about the Three of Cups, and it affects you in some way, most likely. Seven of Wands reversed, and look at that, Three of Cups reversed. Again, so the Three of Cups is here in the upright, but it's here in the reverse. So this is someone who's felt under attack in some way, or felt ganged up on, or had to defend themselves in some way. <clears throat> I feel from a group, and I feel someone manipulated the whole thing, and I feel that person is this fire sign for the most of you. Tell me about the King of Wands reversed and the Strength card reversed, anything at all? liar 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 pants on fire <clears throat> my throat chakra is closing up like crazy this person lied and that's what caused all this this person's lying to manipulate the situation i kid you not this person's going to be a leo or a scorpio most likely or have it very strongly in their chart um they could also be a virgo they could also be a um the, it could be gemini it could be if if somebody were watching this right now and going to gemini did this to me that means you are my subscriber who's cross watching a gemini who's not a, not one of my subscribers so in other words it's not my gemini's that would be doing this so if you are a gemini that's one of my subscribers or it was somebody that comes to this channel to watch this you're watching on behalf of somebody who manipulated the situation um, trying to get answers on what's going on and i will tell you something that somebody is causing purposeful confusion and illusions by lying about something and keeping this situation stuck making it so we can't have a decision that makes any sense or so that things go in their favor as opposed to someone else's so do know that there's something about lying there could also be other people lying as well or involved in this or that um, this person manipulated so that other people would gang up on another person I don't know what it is you guys have to let me know um, I would love to hear from you guys on this one um, and like I said for a few of you you are cross watching a Gemini who did this to you because I can see that energy here as well but not for most of you not for most of you for most of you this was a Scorpio or a Leo, most definitely, or maybe another sign, you know, but they're coming through in that strong Scorpionic Leo energy of, ooh, a Scorpio and a Leo in the reverse are no fun, okay, no fun. Um, they could be up to really, really bad things. Angels, what do we need to know here about this? The truth purification give me one more from the bottom please anything from the bottom courage again courage all right so the give me one more authenticity wow all right so there's going to be someone that comes forward with a truth about this and they're going to be authentic and they're going to speak a truth so if you're waiting for this information here or if this is you you're going to speak a truth so you're either being asked to speak a truth about something you know that's going on that possibly a leo or a scorpio is doing to be authentic to open up and speak a truth or they are and it's something about courage someone needing the courage to speak the truth about something they know is going on that's what i feel this is going to purify the soul this is going to change the energy this is going to bring in good karma i don't know if you're holding on to some information about somebody who's doing this or vice versa or you know or if this is something that will be exposed to you because someone's going to do the right thing i don't know i hope you guys will chime in down below and let me know very intriguing reading gemini my goodness um i would love to hear from you guys always i love hearing from gemini um please do like the video it helps the channel grow subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell and you can follow me on twitter and then you never miss any of the notifications we're only allowed three notifications from youtube but sometimes I'm putting out 12 videos all at once, right? All 12 Zodiac signs. So really, if you follow on Twitter, my link is beneath this video in the description area. If you tap on the title of the video, a bunch of information comes up for you guys. And then if you tap the more button, even more comes up. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining and for liking the video. Please do comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Talk to you soon. Have a great month. Bye.